Position aligned, and this is what we call as mechanical zero position, and it's the default home position. But uh, obviously, this home position has been changed, but it doesn't matter. Do you know the 
the difference between PDP and linear and circular? Still, I want to explain. This point one, this point two. Uh, if you want to move from point one to point two, we're having three types of motion: PTP, linear, or circular. In a PDP motion, uh, a PDP stands for point to point. So it doesn't matter uh, what what the path is, as long as point and point reach, that is done. So it can be this way or this way or whatever way that it feels uh, the most efficient. So this is PDP motion. And a linear motion is, is a direct motion directly from that point to this point. In linear. And if you are choosing a circular motion, uh, it draws a circle. So in circular motion, we need to teach another point here. This is what we call as a zero point. So, so we got a starting point, zero point, and end point, and follow this and draw a circle. Okay. And another thing, uh, you're having one what we call as a continuous motion. A continuous motion is something like this. If you are having three points, P1, P2, and P3, uh, originally you will move this way. But if you are choosing a continuous motion, you will move this way. This is a continuous motion, C or D. And how do you control a continuous motion? We cannot control. It will do whatever it likes. So, mm. yeah, so it, it may be it, it, it may be this way. Or it may be this way. See, uh, the most efficient if you select the most efficient. Uh, actually we are having two parameters in which we can set for this continuous motion. One is what we call as distance. And another one is acceleration. So based on these two parameters, you choose, you choose the path. But until now, also I haven't known how how to choose. It. So the purpose of having a continuous motion is that, for example, uh, you want you want your robot. Let's say for example, uh, a welding robot. You're having three points and. Say one more point here. So, if this is our welding welding location, of course you can choose this way. Uh, let's take this point. So, if let's say we are choosing welding this way, and then it goes to this place, and then going that way because of maybe some obstacle or whatever. And if we are doing uh, it without a continuous motion, then I was our velocity profile will be something like this. So in the beginning, P1 point, you will start moving, accelerating. And when it reaches P2 point, the velocity, this is velocity. You will stop. And then maybe uh, some, some delay, then starting P3, they start, they start. So we are having a start and stop, start and stop motion, which is mechanically uh, not good. So we try to avoid this motion by introducing the continuous motion. Then the machine will go smoothly without stop. So it's mechanically better. Change to two man. Then it will stop exactly at point three. Right? This is the you are running the program already. Is this how you tell me to set on this another uh, program? Uh, no, you continue from P3. So now I want you to run this program and see where the P3 is. And starting from the point of P3, move that, move that to 